Your thoughtfulness and concern was greatly appreciated during and following the loss of my husband, George. Thanks for the lovely plans. Sincerely, Claire and Ethan family. To the Jerusalem Baptist Church, thank you. Dear Pastor Elect Griffin and my church family, thank you for your prayers, love, compassion, courage, gift, thoughtfulness, and being with us at the loss of my husband, George. My prayer is, and has been, that God would weave us together as one. I am seeing that in our church family. Thanks, Jerusalem, for all that you do. May God continue to bless and keep you. Sincerely, Clara Heapin family. From the Mount Table Baptist Church, Reverend Gilbert Garcia, pastor, Milford, Virginia. Dear pastor and members, the Bible tells us in John 12, 26, whoever serves, we must follow him. Follow me, and where I am, my servant also will be. My father will honor the one who serves me. On behalf of the Mount Taylor Baptist Church family, we are filled with joy in extending this invitation to worship and praise God with us for the ordination service of Minister William Darnell Wright on Saturday, October the 21st at 11 a.m. We pray that you will attend the celebration and witness this anointed man of God as he takes this memorable step in his ministry. Lunch will be served after the celebration in his service, Reverend Gilbert Garcia, pastor. Caroline County School Sunday School Union and Vicinity Board are excited to invite you to their quarterly meeting. The meeting will be held on Saturday, October the 28th at the Community Service Center located at 17202 Richmond Turnpike, Milford, Virginia at 10 a.m. The focus of this meeting is health care awareness and that flyer is on the back on the bulletin board. Ebenezer Baptist Church, Beaver Dam, Virginia, Senior Midday Bible Study will be on Monday, October the 16th at 11 a.m. A takeout meal will be provided. Thank you, Valerie Gary Pat, Church Administrator. The JBC Women Ministry will be celebrating the birthday of all women on next Sunday, October the 22nd, directly after worship service. All donations will go toward the roof project. There will be envelopes available to place your donations in, or you can use your weekly envelopes under Women Ministry. From the directory committee, forms for updating the church directory must be completed by next Sunday, October the 22nd. We thank you in advance for your help and cooperation. If you have any questions, please see any committee member. From the Christian Ed Ministry. In honor of Veterans Day, this year we are honoring the veterans and their spouses, living and deceased. A sheet is in the lobby with your name and spouse's name. Please put a check mark that indicates you saw it. All names should be checked by next Sunday, October the 22nd. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, please see Dignus Maxine Carey or Sis Peter Derek Dot. This is a reminder that you may begin bringing your used or new bikes to the church. Um, bikes will be distributed in December, and this is sponsored by the Deacons. The missionary ministry will meet after worship service on next Sunday, October the 22nd. The missionary ministry would like to thank the JBC family for your support in the past during the Baptist General Convention Women's Ministry Week of Prayer. The prayer week was October the 8th through the 14th. Again, this year, each church ministry that is a member of the Area K is asked to no donate to the cause. So on next Sunday, October the 22nd, the missionaries are asking for a free will offering to be taken up before the closing of morning worship service, which will be donated to our 
our prayer week. Our theme this year was faith, courage, and wisdom. Thank you in advance, the JBC Missionary Ministry. The Young Adult Ministry will sponsor their annual trumpet treat event immediately after morning worship service on Sunday, October the 29th. Please join us for food, games, and tons of fun and prizes. All members are asked to donate their vehicle trunks and fill them with all treats for the youth. There will be a prize for the winner of the Star Donation Contest. Any questions, see any member of the ministry. And that fly is on the back and on the bulletin board as well. This is a reminder that the church meeting was rescheduled to October the 25th at 7 o'clock p.m. Let's continue to pray for our sick and shut in and in each other. And each other. This concludes our announcements received for this morning. We will now have baptism. Good morning, church family. Have you come to worship him today? Let us stand and open up. Stand and open. This is the day, is the day. that the Lord has made. The Lord has made. We, will we will rejoice and be glad in it. This song says, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We give you honor, praises to you.
love is throwing a little stuff this morning, but I thank you for that. It's choir. Thank you this morning. Um, we give honor to God for my being here this morning. Um, just want to say we are thankful for all the things that are happening here in Jerusalem. Um, we're praying that we continue to be as one. And I think there's nothing greater than when God gets the, the most glory, when a, when a soul is saved. And we're thankful this morning for what we have going on here. And we're continuing to pray that the Lord will continue to send people our way that we can help grow and get through this process of life through Christ. Um, so with that said, let us bow for a word of prayer. Oh, gracious and eternal God, our Father, it's once again that we come thanking you for another day. We thank you, Lord, for all the things that you've done knowing and unknowing for us, Lord. Those things that uh, seem so simple sometimes, Lord, just like waking up in the morning. We thank you, Lord. Being in our right mind, we thank you, Lord. Being able to, to work when you know there's somebody that doesn't have a job, Lord, we thank you this morning, Lord. We pray, Lord, for those that have grieved over the last few weeks, Lord. We pray that you continue to comfort them. Uh, send a, a positive word that way, Lord, that we're here. We're here to help. We're here to do those things, Lord, that we sometimes say with our mouth, but we also do physically, Lord. We, we move. We, we help where we can, Lord. Uh, that, that is one of the different things about Jerusalem, Lord. When we come together as a family, Lord, we are more, we're more powerful. We're stronger, Lord. We come together and help each other. And, and that's something that we don't want to lose here, Lord. So we continue to pray that you keep us, that you keep each and every one of us close. When, when the enemy is on his way, when he's at the door knocking, we pray, Lord, that you, you have us together, Lord, so that we can continue to, to be stronger and continue to do those things that are within your will. We pray, Lord, for the message that will come today, Lord. We pray for our Pastor Leg, we pray for his family. We pray for all the travel that he does, Lord, that you continue to protect him on the, the highways and byways, Lord. We pray for each and every member and, and those who are visiting this morning, Lord. And we pray for those that will be baptized today, Lord. This is a new beginning for them, Lord. And it's not just going in the water. It is a new life, a new start, Lord. And, and we're here to help, Lord. Let us not be a stumbling block to anyone. But let us be a God as you guided each and every one of us who has accepted Christ. We continue to see that we share and pour that into others. We pray, Lord, for those who are, uh, may be sick this morning, Lord, and not be able to make it out. Uh, we pray that you would continue to comfort them and, and give healing where healing is needed. And Lord, we pray that throughout this day, even after this service, that we will continue to give you all the praise and all the glory. We ask, Lord, that you forgive us for our sins, but we fall short. That only you, Lord, only you will be on our minds throughout this week. Until we meet again, Lord, we thank you. We pray. We pray for each and every one. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. amen.
Dance Dr. Pam. Yes. He's going to dance Dr. Pam. Yeah, can you grab the mic? Yeah.
Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, we baptize you. Amen.
Uh, the word of the Lord reads thusly. Uh, the Jews therefore said unto him that was cured. This was the man who had been at the pool of Bethesda for 38 years. He'd been sick. And Jesus spoke a word unto him that changed everything. Somebody say one word. One word. One word changed everything. And now he's gotten into trouble because he's walking around on the Sabbath carrying his mate. And that is against the law, punishable by death. And so here, the Jews, it can be thought of the pharisaical order. They said unto him that was cured, it is the Sabbath day and it is not lawful for thee to carry thy bed. He answered them, he that made me whole. The same said unto me, take up thy bed and walk. Then they asked him, what man is it which said unto thee, take up thy bed and walk? Who said? Who told you to break the law? Who, who told you to go against our custom? Who told you to go against our tradition? Who, who told you to do it your way? Who told you to take up your bed and walk? And he who was healed didn't know who it was. For Jesus had not pronounced himself, but he had, he had went away a multitude being in that place. Afterward, Jesus findeth him in the temple and said unto him, Behold, thou art whole. Now, now, sin no more, lest a worse thing come unto thee. The man departed and told the Jews it was Jesus which had made him whole. And therefore did the Jews persecute Jesus and sought to slay him because he had done these things on the Sabbath day. And Jesus answered unto him, My father worketh hitherto an hour. Therefore the Jews sought to kill him more because not only had he broken the Sabbath, but he had also called God his father, making him equal with God. Hallelujah. Uh, he who made me whole, that one told me to take up my bed and walk. By the grace of God and the mercy of God, while you're yet standing, I would like to speak to you this morning from the subject title, Walk It Out. Uh, walk It Out. Somebody tell your neighbor, walk it out. Come on, walk it out. Walk it out. Spirit of living God, fall fresh on us in this place. The flower fades and the grass does with the word of the Lord. It stands forever. Preach now, Holy Ghost. Only you can't touch, heal, set free, restore, renew. Revive us. Again, let it be said of every man, woman, boy, and girl gathered in this place. And they are better than having been in this place. For the Spirit of the Lord doth reside here. I am where the Spirit of the Lord is. There is liberty. Free now in the Holy Ghost. Heal now in the Holy Ghost. Men brokenhearted now in the Holy Ghost transformed by the renewing of our mind in the Holy Ghost and we will be careful to give your name all glory all honor and all praise in the name of Jesus the Christ that we pray this to God our Father through the power and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit and we thank you in advance if you believe it shout amen, amen. hallelujah on the way to your seat do me a favor touch two or three people and tell them like you mean and walk it out come on tell them like you mean and walk it out Walk it out, walk it out, hallelujah, walk it out. Uh, we enter into this particular part of this periphery at an interesting place. It seems as if the climax has already taken place. It seems as if there's not much left to discuss. It seems as if we've gotten the most out of the story and really it's time for us to progress into something else. But God said we ain't done just yet. Uh, we ain't done just yet. And, and so here it is. Uh, this man who had been sick for 38 years stuck in the same position. Uh, this man who had uh, settled for his situation for 38 years. Because anybody who's been in anything for a long time know uh, that you don't just stay in one place for 38 years without settling at some point. Uh, that you don't settle uh, in a place for 38 years without some point to stand wrapping your mind around the thought that this is just what it's going to be. Uh, uh, that, 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 that you don't encounter that type of situation, that type of circumstance, that type of hell without getting to a place in your life where you change your whole prayer request from God fix it to God just help me go through it. Yeah. Uh, the reality is that at some point you stop looking for healing. Uh, so much so that when healing shows up, I don't even recognize it no more. Have you ever stopped looking for a thing so long that you lose the ability to recognize it when it shows up? Maybe it's not healing, maybe it's not healing. Maybe it's love. I, I quit looking for it. So now I don't even know what I'm going to think. 
still sitting on that. Like the clowns I've been talking to. Oh, y'all don't hear me. You know? Everybody, what do you say? Yeah. The clowns I've been talking to and the real thing don't act like that. Now I got a problem with the real thing because I don't recognize the real thing. Because somewhere along the line I stopped believing the real thing. Yeah. Maybe it's like that. Uh, uh, maybe it's uh, somebody that came along to encourage you in your vision and your dream for your life. You know, the ambition, the thing that you grew up with and told yourself when you was 10 and 12 and 14 and 18 that you were going to do. And somewhere along the line you became cynical and somewhere along the line you became jaded by life and all of a sudden your dreams went down the tube. And, and somebody came along and tried to spark what was lost down on the inside. This man had been sick for so long, brought Jeff that he stopped fleecy. He didn't recognize healing no more. He didn't recognize breakthrough. He didn't recognize deliverance, but it recognized him. I want to pause by five seconds to give God praise for recognizing me when they didn't recognize him. I want to thank God for knowing my name when I had no idea what his was. I, I want to give God praise for finding me right in the Right in the middle of my brokenness and declaring I wasn't too messed up for them to come and change my life. I want to thank God for knowing me when I didn't know him. And if I was a dead man, I'd say I'm not the only person in the building who God came and found in the middle of the muck and the mire. And I'm going to give you about five seconds to clap your hand and wave your hand and thank God for finding you out. We smell like Sunday morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you ever been through something, you know what Sunday morning smells about better than Friday and Saturday night. Come on, somebody. We look like Sunday morning. We smell like Sunday morning. We 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 we, we, we ready to go. Uh, but if the walls could talk, yeah. Uh, I didn't always know who Jesus was. I, I wasn't looking for him. Come on now. I didn't wake up Sunday morning talking about let me get myself together to go to JBC. I wish somebody would help me in here. Somebody know what it is to wake up Sunday morning reaching for the Tylenol and the, and the Advil and trying to get some liquid back in you because you went too hard on Saturday night. And you don't even remember how you got home, but the grace of God and the mercy of God and the love of God. Some people woke up and rolled over and didn't recognize. Whether you understand it or not, he who made me whole. 
I've told you to do because you don't understand it. That changes what God told me to be because you don't get it. I'm not reducing myself. I limited my testimony because it doesn't fit inside your box. Don't you know the whole time I was broken, I honored your box. And your box didn't do nothing to deliver me. But God messed around and stepped out of the box and proved that he was bigger than the box and made my story bigger than the box. And now with a straight face, you want me to go back to the box? The devil is alive. To be, uh, you done bumped your head if you think I'm, I'm not going to do everything he said to do. You, you don't want, I, I don't care if you look at me with your religious eyes. Uh -huh, yeah, uh, look straight ahead. I'm not talking about nobody in here. Just look straight ahead. Because you know some people got religious eyes. And they know how to quote Genesis the Revelation with a look. They'll look at you and quote Genesis the Revelation but not live in none of it. Oh, come on now. But they can give you that church look, uh, that tradition look, that, that ain't the way we do things here. Look, I'm looking at the back door, I'm not looking at the door. Uh, that, that, that ain't the way we do things here. Look, that, you know that was my seat look, y'all don't hear me in here. You know that was my solo and that was my song. That look, y'all know what I'm talking about. You know I was the head of that ministry. You know that look there. Give me that look. You Keep on looking, baby. Tell your neighbor, keep on looking. You don't even see the half yet. I, eyes have not seen it. Ears have not heard or has it into the hearts of men. What God has in store for you thought this was something. Oh, wait till you see. What's next? All right. All right, sir. Uh, like that. And uh, so then they asked him, they said,
excited. It made me excited because we exist in an era where many would have their own names lifted above the name of Christ. Mm, yes, indeed. Oh, yeah. You know, if you were one out of a hundred folks to pray for somebody and God healed them, you talk more about the fact that you helped pray for them than the fact that they got healed. Mm. But you know I went and laid hands. <laughs> you know, you ought to stop that. So the pocket is right yourself. He said, Jesus didn't even say, Tracy, Jesus didn't even tell his name. How do you do that? What type of humility is that? You go to a man that's been broken for 38 years. You change his whole life. Oh, 
and how he saved you and how he rescued you from darkness into a marvelous life. I got a story to tell you. Hallelujah. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I read my last turn. He went back and forth with these people for a while. They talk a whole lot. He still ain't put down that man. I could rock with this type of cat. <laughs> we would have been cool because he's like, I don't care what you say. You ain't make me whole. You walk right by me for 38 years looking at me funny. I don't care what you say with your self righteous by yourself. I'm going to carry my back. Thank you. He carried his back. The Bible says Jesus found him. Huh. That means he was looking. I'm trying not to get excited. Do your Don't thing. Don't bring something that I can stay calm. Bring it on. Uh, look here. He says, he says Jesus found him. Well, what was he looking for? He had already healed him. As a matter of fact, he found him. He said, you are made whole. Oh, Lord have mercy. If I had time, if I had time, so I'd talk about the difference between healed and whole. Jesus didn't say you've been healed. I hate what he said, sister. Jesus told him, I made you whole. Can I tell you right quick what that means? Healing is I'm better from my situation that will bother me. Whole means I got back everything I lost in the process. Oh, y'all are here. I'm trying to tell you about a God who won't just fix what's wrong. He said, if you lost this, I'll give it back. If you lost that, I'll give it back. Behold, I restore unto you all of the years that the Lord has is not 
Yeah. Yeah. I'm finished, Jordan. This is the last thing. Uh, Jesus said, I made you whole. He went and found him. Jesus was looking for him. Because he said, your miracle, while it's good, Come on. Because he knows if you go back, it'll be worse. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. That's why. That's why. It's been, it's been 365 days since you did it. And still, every time you think about it, you get a twinge. Mm. It ain't because it was that good. It wasn't never that good. It's the enemy is tucking at you. Yeah. Because he knows if I can get you back, it'll be worse. Mm. Mm -hmm. But can I tell you?
a victory for you. If you're here on today and you haven't said yes to him, there's no better place than right here. There's no better time than right now. I don't want you to be hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Come on, give God praise. Give God praise. Come on, give God praise in the building. Hallelujah. The baby said, I don't even need you to wait to finish. I'm coming right now. Come on, I want to God that we all will be that excited. When the living shows up in the room, when salvation shows up in the room, that we say, I'm coming right now. Just as I am without one plea, but that thy blood was shed for me, and that thou bid me come to thee. O Lamb of God, I come. Listen, Jesus gave it all. All to him we owe. If you're here on today and you haven't said yes to him, and you want to say yes today, I just want to invite you to throw your hand in the air as high as you can. If you want to say yes to Jesus, there's no guarantee that you'll see the conclusion of today. So I need you to be fully confident. If you close your eyes within the next five seconds, where, where your home is going to be. And if you're not certain about that, I'm talking to you right now. There's no better time than right now. There's no better place than right here. If you want to say yes to Jesus, now is your time. That's your preacher. Ah. I'm going to give you a couple seconds. I don't, want to, I don't want to rush this. I don't want to rush this. Hallelujah.
this old person that said, listen, I don't need you to wait until you finish. I know what I want in my life. I love it. I love it. And we ourselves. Oh, you come on strong. I love it. Um, to not reverence
thank God for your desire to work in the kingdom and work for God's church, right? And, 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 and we, with glad hearts, welcome you back home. Amen? With glad hearts, we welcome you back Come on, give God praise for our sister who's come back home. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We love you. Amen. 
And something happened when the body of Christ get together and start praising. Uh, uh, Jeff, something happens. I know that's right. Like, 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 I am sharp and I am for real. And I can feel your praise when you lift your hands and when you lift your voice. I feel your praise. So I thank God for your presence. I thank God for your praise. Amen. Amen. I want to encourage you. Come back next week. Uh, let's do this journey together. Amen. Tell somebody about what God has done in your life. What he's continuing to do in your life. Invite them to know the Jesus who saved your life. Amen. Uh, these four walls is where we come into to get poured into. When we exit these walls, we enter into our mission field. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's where it's our job to pour out. Amen. So I want to encourage each and every one of you, kingdom builders. Amen. Because that's who we are. We are kingdom builders. Amen. Come on, somebody say it. I'm a kingdom builder. Kingdom builder. Come on, say it like you mean it. I'm a kingdom builder. Kingdom builder. Yeah. And so this week we're going to do just that. We're going to go build a kingdom. Amen. I love you. God bless you. Heaven smile upon you. Uh, let's pray. Father, we give you glory for your presence in this place. We thank you for the worship, Father. We thank you for every song that went forth from this great choir. We thank you, Father, uh, for the baptism and the candidates who were baptized who went down in the water as your word thus commanded. Uh, we thank you, God, for the new hearts who have come to you declaring, I desire also to be baptized, Father. And we thank you uh, that you have given us everything that we need. To walk it out. And now, God, as we depart from this place, but never from your presence, allow no evil to befall us. Neither let any plague come to our tent. Thank you, great God, that you are for giving the angels charge over us to keep us in all of our ways. In the name of Jesus the Christ, that we pray this to God, our Father, through the power and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. And we thank you in advance. If you believe it, shout amen. amen. We love you.